year, year and a half now. Um, hi again, this is Keith Overland. I am doing, uh, I'm the Secretary General of FIX. I've been in this role for about a year, year and a half now. And it is really one of the most exciting professional experiences I've had. Um, I was a FIX chiropractor uh, for several events over the past 20 years or so. And now I kind of look at myself a little bit as a coach, um, as I have gotten much more involved with the administration of FIX and helping us move forward in, in the world of sport and building acceptance for the chiropractic profession from everything uh, from the Olympic committees down to our uh, individual countries, uh, sports federations. But today, more importantly than what I've been doing is what we've been doing is fix and how um, you can actually continue to participate. Most of you uh, have known that we did a symposium about a week and a half ago, May 7th, 8th and 9th. And that was the first virtual global sports symposium um, that we've done and we think maybe that's ever been done. Um, the, the pandemic has opened up opportunities like that for us to try to take advantage of. In that symposium, uh, you, if you attended, you would probably know this, but if you didn't attend, and I'm going to encourage you and giving you the way to do that, uh, in the symposium, we had speakers such as um, Carla Stecco, who, as many of you know, is one of the world uh, greatest researchers and most pro pronounced researchers in myofascial work and fascial work. We had uh, Dr. Jill Cook, a PhD, speak about the um, importance of uh, analyst, analyzing and treating and the newest research on tendinopathies. And, and that was, uh, again, to me, one of the most interesting learning opportunities I've had in a long time. We had a speaker from the International Olympic Committee Executive Board talk to us about what they're doing currently in the Olympics. And she happens to be a patient, a chiropractic patient, and uh, she is a strong supporter of our profession. And we have her uh, to thank for being at the table uh, for many of our Olympic um, processes that we're involved with in programs. Uh, but in addition, we had a multitude of chiropractors from around the world, uh, all speaking on topics that are of interest to me as a, a sports chiropractor and would probably be interest to you. And the reason I say that is the symposium is still available for you to review and to look at. Actually, it's available for you to, to view through June 8th. So what you'd want to do if you have an interest, if you were an attendee, to go back and look at a course or two and, and get the notes printed out for a future review, you can do that. If you've never been, you can actually go to fix.sport and uh, look at the opportunity of a much, dis much very discounted price to actually sign on and go to all of the classes at your leisure and figure out um, uh, what I've done is some some interesting ones that, that I really focused on that were helpful in, in my practice. Uh, there were some panels talked about how to go from a chiropractor in school to being a chiropractor for some of the most important games in the world. Uh, there were panels on how to um, actually monetize and, and increase profits uh, through the use of very ethical, of course, products and services in your practice. So I would really encourage going to fix.sport and taking a look at some of those interesting components of the symposium. So today, um, well, actually one last point. Uh, we, we actually made a little bit of an incentive. Uh, if you go and sign on and actually visit the exhibitors, um, then you can actually be uh, eligible for a grand prize from Hyperice. Hyperice is one of the world leaders on percussion vibration machines, um, you know, massage guns, some people call them, but they are pretty much the gold standard. And uh, that, they are giving away a sphere, a mini sphere, which is an incredible tool that you could be using in your office. Just by going and leaving your card with them, you are eligible. We actually gave away about 20 prizes for folks who did visit the exhibitors. And we wanna thank all of our sponsors for helping us make this successful. One of them that I want to highlight today is going to be sort of my introduction to our, our guest today, uh, Dr. Drews. Um, and they are a company called Boreon. Boreon is a sponsor of FIX, and they have been now for two years. And, and Boreon is probably the world leader in homeopathic products and services. Homeopathy has been around, the little I know about it, for over 200 years. And, you know, their principle is you know, like cures like, um, and they look for substances that are natural uh, plants, natural animals, minerals, and other substances that, that are raw and then are able to um, 
bring you know some reduction of symptoms. So uh, we are thrilled to have Borean as a sponsor. And in fact, our speaker, Dr. Drews, was the recipient of one of the prizes that Borean happened to donate. I thought that was pretty um, serendipitous, you know, pretty um, <laughs> in interesting that someone who practices homeopathy like you do, Dr. Drews, actually won that, that very useful prize. So again, thank Borean for that. So um, let me let me kind of move to really what's what's more important than than I is hearing hearing um, a little information from Dr. Elga Cru uh, Drews. She is a, a chiropractor in Namibia. Namibia, right? I think. Namibia. Yeah. Thank you. I always kind of get the the synonyms mis missed up in in that uh, country's uh, pronunciation. Uh, but she has been um, a chiropractor uh, as a graduate since nineteen. 94. So she graduated from Durban University, or cu currently now Durban University of Technology. And she, th what was really interesting to me, as, as I've learned more about her, is that they, they combine, have the opportunity, I should say, to combine chiropractic and homeopathy in their studies. And so uh, Dr. Drew has decided to do that. And um, as, a, as a result, has really made homeopathy a significant component in her practice. Uh, she now moved to uh, Namibia uh, in 1996 and is currently practicing there. She also took um, and signed up for the CCSP um, course offered by FIX back uh, through Northwestern University. I think it was 1997. And as a result of that, has been very involved with sports chiropractic. Um, in, in her country, she has worked with the swimming team, and uh, I I love hearing about that because I actually worked with the U.S. swimming team for a bit of time. So I'm so excited to hear about her work with that. Um, she's worked with many dance schools, which I think is fantastic, and has also um, really been helping, which is to me one of the most important things. She's really helped um, in under underserved communities, uh, providing chiropractic care, homeopathic care, and and sports chiropractic care, which to me is is so very exciting. So with that, um, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Drews to spend a couple minutes to speak with you really about um, her ability to kind of bring chiropractic and homeopathic medicine together, how she utilizes it in the office, and, and really uh, just kind of get just a sense of that component of sports chiropractic. So Dr. Drews, thank you so, so much for being with us today. You know, this Facebook Live um, it's very new to me. I'm an old guy. I've got no technology, um, but uh, I know it's it's very big on everyone's plate. And, and we've been seeing a growing number of folks from around the world watching our sessions. So uh, thank you again for participating with us. And I'm I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. So thank you. For yeah. Me. Well, first of all, hi Keith, and thank you so much for inviting me onto the show. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, very exciting to actually see how our international um, chiropractic sports community is growing and how well we have developed and how we're also looking into incorporating other types of disciplines into our practices so that we can optimally help the athletes. So for me, the symposium was absolutely amazing. I was flabbergasted by the professionalism. Everything ran so smoothly. And then, of course, I loved the contents of the lectures. They were absolutely brilliant. You had an incredible lineup of speakers, really so much that we could learn and, and take home, um, you know, use in the practice and use immediately with, with the athletes that we work on. So thank sure. you very much to FIX for actually offering us this, this wonderful opportunity in these times to have an online symposium. So that was absolutely great. And Dr. Drews, yeah. you could also mention a little bit about your NCSC, um, uh, because I'm sure not everyone knows that there are uh, these all over the world, including in Africa. So, and as yes. president, we'd love to hear about it. <laughs> So while well, I practice in Namibia, there are only nine um, chiropractors practicing in Namibia. And two of us do have some sorts of uh, sports certificate. Um, they're both from FIX, so it's Dr. Daryl Wheely and myself. We the, the people that actually have one of the, or have the association with FIX, let's put it that way. But everybody in Namibia has to see everything. 
you know so everybody treats runners and cyclists and and any type of athletes in their practice um so yes we are very small population with regards to chiropractic um there's lots of space so i'm inviting everybody around the world to please come and join us we're looking for people to come and work with us um it's it's it's, it's a peaceful country with beautiful wildlife and amazing outdoor activities so you all welcome please come and join us <laughs> um so yeah it's obviously with only having two people in the country that drive the sports chiropractic um it sometimes gets very difficult because when we have interaction with our noc or with our sports commission they really would like for us to be present for all the teams whether it's the boxers or the women's soccer teams or the athletics teams or whatever it is and you know we only have two hands each so it sometimes gets a little bit overwhelming and you sort of try and pull the handbrake because you don't want to burn out um but yeah we 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 have a foot in the door with them we have been invited um, to some of the forums that they offer to the athletes or to the, the coaches and trainers to present. And we, yeah, we definitely have a good relationship. Um, so we're truly hoping that we can offer our services and see what we can do for the athletes and, and get more people involved there. It's interesting because I think um, you're probably suffering from what I call athletes' desires to see chiropractors, and they didn't know they wanted to see chiropractors until they yeah. meet you, and they're engaged in in the sport, and all of a sudden they see their friend or another athlete seeing a chiropractor, and all of a sudden it's like there's a line out the door, and you're only one or two of you. So I, I'm sure that you could use some help, and um, it's probably yeah. interesting though to to be in that situation as well yeah um sometimes it's a bit difficult because you have quite a few athletes that are um not in a position to actually pay for chiropractic services so you know it's always you sometimes get into a situation where you don't know well how, how am i going to charge for this am i going to charge for this right. um because you're in the practice situation it's not on the field on the field obviously that's that's a free service um so we would like to obviously see more athletes particularly the ones that have qualified to go to the olympics but like i say a lot of them just do not have the means to actually afford any type of service whether it's physiotherapy or chiropractic or sometimes going to the normal gp for whatever they they might need does your country being somewhat smaller and and uh, somewhat some parts underdeveloped how do they have a, a, a I'll use the word an Olympic committee or do they have funding for the, the athletes? Yes. yes, we do. We do have an Olympic committee that is very active um, and does a lot, run a lot of things. And that's where we, you know, were invited to the forums. The Olympic committee um, organizes a lot of information forums, like I said, for the athletes, as well as the um, coaches and other people that are involved with the athletes. So no, they're extremely active. They're very well organized. The funding obviously is limited, you yeah. know. Um, so that's why we have a small amount of athletes also going to the Olympics, um, a small medical team, because that's that's just the way that it is yeah that's how i know how how have they since you're such a small group how has that olympic level or the more um uh, elite athlete groups have they taken to chiropractic and homeopathic are they open to some of the more uh, complementary and alternative approaches well a few of them okay the cyclists all basically know about chiropractic here and sort of natural type of support for their performance as well as when they get ill. Um, some of the other sports, like I say, they usually come from, from a more traditional background and with less financial means. And therefore, they have not really been exposed to either chiropractic care or even homeopathic um, medication. Um, 
we luckily in 2016, <coughs> pardon me, in two, 2016, um, we were very lucky to organize the African Chiropractic Federation's annual sort of um, meeting as well as as well as a symposium or a little seminar with it. And <coughs> pardon me, it's very dry in this part of the world today. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, the theme was um, sports chiropractic. Oh. And we and and Fix actually was generous to do, um, sponsor the ticket, um, flight ticket for Dr. Brian Nook, who was one of our main speakers. And we had Dr. Simon Lawson as well. And it it was a very, very well received um, symposium. We had invited um, people from the NOC. We had invited some athletes that we demonstrated on. And we were really well received. And everybody was absolutely amazed. And it was an it was a wonderful sort of window to show the people in the sports arena what care chiropractic or how we fit into the whole system and what we have to offer. So that's great. And, and that's the only way to do it, you know, is to be there yeah. live, have athletes talk to you, talk about you and, and your work, which I'm sure they do. Tell me a little bit about how you've in your practice, number one, but even with the sports world, your experience in how homeopathic um, uh, medicine has has sort of uh, added to your care for athletes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, for me, um, I'm, I'm very, I was always exposed to homeopathy. My father used to treat us with homeopathic remedies at home. Yeah. Um, I, I wasn't used to, you know, the the antibiotics and antihistamine and antipyretics and and that type of thing. I, I was just never exposed to it. So from from grassroots level, I knew about natural methods of of treating the human body. So it was fascinating to me when I started chiropractic. When I started, I wasn't aware that chiropractic, the chiropractic course was run parallel to the, the homeopathy course. And I had a couple of friends who I ended up living with in a commune that actually were studying the homeopathy side. And I became very interested in it. And I just decided to keep carrying some subjects as extra subjects to then finally also complete um, the homeopathic studies. And for me, it's just that's what makes sense supporting the body with natural means so that it can function optimally whether it's chiropractic whether it's exactly. you know vitamin supplements whether it's homeopathy but truly never harming and you know interfering in a sense that you're stopping some sort of func function so for me it was just a natural development and when i took it into my practice i think my patients see it exactly the same because when a patient comes to see me, they all speak about all of their issues. You know, they won't just mention the 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 painful knee, but they'll speak about the fact that they, you know, have insomnia, can't sleep at night, or that they have allergies, which everybody here has allergies. Um, <clears throat> so I think because the way that word of mouth is spread about what I do or how I practice, people are aware of this and they request and require a, a full service. You know, I, I don't actually separate. It's quite difficult for me to 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 just separate, you know, just say, oh, okay, today we're just going to look at your, your back. I will always end up talking about their dietary habits and some lifestyle changes that I would suggest or, right. you know, um, some coaching with regards to, you know, the stress factors that they have in their life. Um, so it has been extremely helpful for me to feel like I'm a more rounded practitioner that I can offer quite a full array of tools that the patient can also use, you know, so it's, I consider it quite empowering to the patient that they are aware what they can do in order. I mean, we had the lecture on epigenetics. So it's all about switching on those, you know, inherited genes that might cause a pathology, but giving the patient the power that they can actually do a lot in order to keep those inactive, if you want to call it like that. So, so I really, you know, from, from 
lifestyle change to exercising regularly and, you know, specific chiropractic adjustments with rehab exercises when they have injuries and always giving them a homeopathic medication where we go into the chronic or what we call a constitutional type of remedy, which supports their inherited weakness so that it does not express itself in a pathology, for example. Um, we go a little bit into functional medicine, you know, making sure that they understand how important the, the proper working of the guts are and how the gut is related to inflammatory factors because, you know, most athletes will come with some sort of inflammatory condition, whether it's an acute or a chronic one, but you can help them by making them understand how other systems in the body are actually very important to keep under control and, and how you have the power to make a difference in it as a patient. So and that's how it has helped me. And then, yeah, you know, homeopathic remedies are really cheap. So um, patients like that. Okay. It's not like we're selling them something um, for a thousand bucks. We, we're giving them something that works, that also for an athlete is very important, that nothing can be tested as um, any um, prohibited substance on the water list. And homeopathy certainly can't. There's nothing, you know, that is illegal about it. So that obviously assures the, the athlete um, patient as well that he can safely and without any guilty feeling or or insecure consciousness he can basically take the homeopathic remedies so um homeopathy is safe homeopathy is cheap for the patient to you know buy and it can be taken without any concern that it might be tested as an illegal substance or or you know prohibited substance from on the water list so interesting. So what it's so interesting listening to you because what you're describing is I think what we all learn in school, and that is a conservative approach to healthcare, a natural approach to healthcare. But we're also acting as a primary contact provider, which again we all learn <laughs> how to be in school. And oh, oh, that's fine. Um, and and you know, we we sometimes get kind of put into this box that as a sports chiropractor, we find we're always pulling out of that box. And and I think it's so interesting to hear that your your patients, your athletes are really getting care of the whole body, the whole human in your office. And you know, it, and it can only help their sports performance. It can only help them heal quicker from uh, athletic injuries and such. So, you know, I'm gonna be very naive and ignorant here. Um, we've all, many of us, I shouldn't speak for others, but myself, you know, we've heard a lot about Arnica, of course, and Arnica is very <laughs> popular and well-known in the US, you know, there's there's not a lot of homeopathic docs, you know, um, a lot of, mm. it's not as a, it's a brown, but not as well known. I think in Europe, it's a lot more accepted yeah. and, and utilized and obviously in other countries. So if you were to suggest to someone, um, really, if you want to, you're not, we're not going to get a degree because that was many, many hours. But if we wanted to learn a little bit more in your mind of how we can maybe be, get some rudimentary knowledge, understanding, at least to help direct patients, if we don't happen to have someone down the street who does homeopathic work, what, what would kind of be your suggestion for the, the sports chiropractor who, who just uh, is interested but doesn't have the, the colleagues right in the hand, you know, short distance from them? Well, I think um, the lecture that we had on homeopathy, the introduction um, during the symposium was actually very straightforward. Um, she went through a couple of remedies that are type of sports chiropractor and she gave the, the guiding symptoms um, for them. But I always say start with Arnica first because Arnica is the number one remedy for any type of sports injuries with regards to bruising, swelling, you know, the inflammatory side of it, the pain, the, the, the stiffness. So <clears throat> I every patient, when I do my soft tissue, I use Arnica um, oil initially. And my athletes, including my own kids, they know they have like a tube of Arnica cream or Arnica gel in their, in their sports bag, okay? Because they know like when they spray like something. Arnica, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is Arnica. So they will they will just put that on immediately and they know that, you know, should they have 
been hit by a hockey ball or whatever it might be, if they slap on that arnica quite nice and thick, there's not going to be a bruise. There's not going to be a bump. Um, so, yeah, they obviously learn from experience pretty quickly. And um, so I think arnica is then is the one that you basically start with. And then you you truly, you you try and catch some lectures like the one that we had um, yep. in the symposium. And I'd like to to actually <clears throat> encourage people who have not listened to that um, from our chiropractic sports fraternity to please go and look at that lecture because all the remedies she mentions, they're very easy to prescribe with regards to the guiding symptom pictures that, was, uh, that, that were um, presented so that you can assist your athletes that they can sort of heal much quicker from the injuries they might have or reduce the stiffness that they have recover quicker after you know heavy training sessions and and um you know com competitions where you often just mm -hmm. overexert yourself and need to recover quickly for the next competition that's around the corner so yeah so it's it's truly if you keep a handful of remedies like 10 remedies and then <clears throat> that is probably enough for a sports chiropractor now obviously you have to bear in mind that in certain countries the profession of of um, homeopathy is also regulated so you will only be able to actually um, prescribe single type of remedies when you're registered as a homeopath it's not the case in all countries but for the countries where you do have a legislation that regulates the profession, it's easy to use over-the-counter preparations by companies like Pohon, for, for example, okay? Um, like the Onicare, the, the different Onicare products that they have. Um, I know that they're very present in South Africa as well because that's where I got in contact with with Pohon as well, my, my um previous lecturer and, and mentor, Dr. Ronald Boyer, um, was always, you know, he had them in his practice and I, I happened to be so lucky and practice with him in a big clinic that he ran for the homeopathic interns and I worked as a chiropractor. So <clears throat> I was exposed to to their products and they're absolutely amazing. And there's more companies because Wawa is not um, active in all countries, but in quite a lot. When you go onto their website, you can actually see where you will find um, the products in which countries. But there are other companies as well, if, you know, Bohan doesn't happen to be in your country, to, to, that you can actually use the over-the-counter preparations, which have, you know, they, they for sports injuries or they for headaches or they for whiplash or whatever it might be. You will, you will find quite a nice selection well, of products. I could tell you you've piqued my interest a little bit more um, than <laughs> I have. I'm glad. So no, you have. Thank you. I am actually going to do that. And actually, you know, as we come to a close, I want to see if anyone else's interest was piqued because I was speaking with our our um, colleague from Borean recently, and they are very, very generous with samples. Um, they are very yeah. interested in sharing, particularly Arnica. By, by the way, I've got some samples from them, and <laughs> I want to do a little more reading about the best use. And thanks to your kind of kicking me a little bit. And um, so anyone who's interested, if you, you know, reach out to uh, Boron USA, I think the website may be on our, our Facebook page uh, right at the bottom there, mention that you're a member of FIX and ask them for samples because we are going to be working with them to sample our membership, but there's no need to wait because we don't have it immediately in the works. Um, so please feel free to reach out and say that you are a member and you're looking for samples and let them, let them kind of start the process educating. Um, you or providing your patients with that additional care model. So with that, um, Dr. Drews, thank you so much for joining us. We're kind of down to our last minute. So um, if you, you have any last uh, thought you want to share before we uh, let everyone get back to their daily Yes, routine. I actually want to really thank you, Boan, for their very, very generous gift basket. It arrived last week and I was absolutely gobsmacked it was so generous and just so beautifully prepared so thank you very very much i'm very excited to be using the products here in namibia now so thank you very much <laughs> well and thank you um for for doing the work you do it's very important on, on many levels and with that any other doctor has any interest in learning more about fix or working with the athletes or going back to the symposium <laughs> 
please feel free to reach out to me at secgen at fixsport.org um, or our just our website has all kinds of information. So thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for attending. Any Anything we can do for you, uh, you're our members. We're here to help. Thanks, and have a great evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever wherever you are right now. Have a good good night from my side. <laughs> Bye.